トヨルシャポ Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So the DeSata head unit, I've had it in my full runner for, gosh, four months now, five months now, maybe three. I don't know. I kind of lost track and I'm about to actually take it out. So nothing on the system itself. Like I've said in previous videos, I just, I like the OEM way better. I do like the look that this has because it looks OEM. You have all the Apple CarPlay functionality from Maps, Maps from Google, Spotify, Kilo Maps, you got Zoom stuff if you need to make calls, Audible, podcasts, everything. And the system itself for these months that I've been testing it for Apple CarPlay has worked flawlessly for myself. I've had individuals DM me and stuff on Instagram saying, hey, I can't get the CarPlay to work. But they reached out to DeSata, they messaged them, gave them a firmware, and that some got it to work, others didn't. I'm just not sure people troubleshoot differently. Um, but from my experience, if you are still just looking for CarPlay, for your forerunner, you want it to look OEM and have some kind of Android tweaking abilities, then I still do recommend this. I do feel the price is still pretty steep, but if you can ever find it on like Alibaba or something where it's decently cheap and uh, affordable, then I still recommend this over the T9 head unit because really the only other flaws I had with this was just signal strength on FM radio wasn't the best if you don't use it. No problem. And then sometimes the touch sensitive things on the EQ only just didn't work. Now, where's this going to go? I have a buddy, Nico, who has a forerunner as well. Very badass forerunner, might I say. And we're going to put it in that. So he's going to continue long term testing it. He's going to use it the way it needs to be used because he off roads all the time. He's going to probably load it up with maps and just use it the way that this thing was really intended to be used. And then we'll just follow up with him in the future and stuff, see how this system is still working. So if you guys are still looking for a very long term test with this unit, you know, make sure you subscribe because I will have videos in the future still talking about this unit from another person's perspective. So guys, I never really told you how to exactly wire it, but it's just like the T9 videos that I did. The harness comes with it and everything is literally plug and play. So if it doesn't go into something, obviously it's not meant to go in. That's what she said. The only ones that don't have anything from your factory is your ones that look like little RF things because that's for your XM satellite radio and for your GPS antenna. Other than that, everything plugs in and if it doesn't have a plug, it does not plug in. I had a lot of people asking about the backup camera and as you can see there's multiple yellow video RCA cables so one of them comes off of the main harness that's right here and then you just have to see it, it says camera VN right there so that's the one that worked for me to uh, plug it in so the only hard part is sometimes the tabs but as you guys saw like 20 30 seconds it unplugs. It takes a little bit longer to plug it in just because you got to make sure which ones go into which ones. But this whole harness is on the instruction booklet showing you where to put everything. Something. Right. But no, that was easy. Well, the DeSata head unit is now in Nico's forerunner, as you guys saw. And the stock one is in mine. Freedom. Love it. All right, so as you guys saw, the DeSata head unit is now in Nico's Forerunner. So I'm going to leave his Instagram down in the description if you guys want to follow along as he still continues the long-term test on it. And the stock one is now back in my Forerunner, and I forgot just <laughs> forgot how small it was. That's what she said. But again, to reiterate, guys, the DeSata head unit for me, it worked perfectly fine for what I used it for. The CarPlay worked good. The FM radio worked good when it did receive signal. Again, I'm not sure if that's just because of my location or if the amplifier inside of it wasn't the best for picking up FM because I put the stock one back in and my radio comes in amazingly. So I am a weird guy. I do like my Entune head unit. Uh, when I put it back in the Forerunner, it just felt right again. It felt like the Forerunner. This is why I don't really care for double-din radios that much because it has a lot of the plastic look. I just, 
I'm a weird guy, and I really like the end tune head unit that the Forerunner has. I did not put back in the Beat Sonic. I just am running just straight up how the Forerunner was supposed to be. I don't know. I, it just it works for me. It's simple and it looks awesome. And I mean, it's not as nice as the 2021. Uh, if that is somehow plug and play eventually, once people really start tweaking it and figuring it out, then I would love to swap that into this because I feel like that would be an even better system than this is more put together than this one is but this is still pretty solid I do like this system a lot so if you guys are new around here definitely consider subscribing returning subscribers as always appreciate your guys support and I'll catch you in the next video all right see you later